Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Coco Gauff is no longer happy with the way the French Open and tennis tournaments in general are being run. Coco Gauff tore up the French Open and sports in general over her scheduling practices this past weekend. Ending matches at 3 a.m. local time is not healthy, she says. Yeah, I definitely think finishing at 3 a.m. is what I feel is like a lot of times people think you are done, but really, 3 a.m. then you have media responsibilities, and then you have to shower, eat, and then a lot of times people do treatments, Gorf complains on Sunday. So, that means probably not going to bed until 5 o'clock at the earliest, maybe 6 o'clock, and even 7 o'clock. I definitely think it's not healthy. It may be not fair for those who have to play late because it does ruin your schedule. I've been lucky I haven't been put in a super late finish yet. Coco Gauff's comments came after her victory over Elisabetta Cocachato, which sent her to the quarter-finals of French expansion in the fourth year in a row. Coco Gauff arrived at the final in 2022 and lost to Igus Viontek. Igus Viontek also beat her in the quarter-finals last year 2023. Coco Gauff then faces world number 8 Hans Jabeur on Tuesday. Although not directly affected by a late match in Paris, Novak Djokovic's third-round win over Lorenzo Musetti also ended at 3.07 a.m. local time on Sunday. Although it was a five-set thriller, it didn't start until after 10.30 p.m. local time. Rain delayed the show this weekend in Paris, causing delays. Delays are very common in this sport. This is not just a problem at Roland Garros, but at all Grand Slam tournaments. Coco admits that solving this problem is not easy. What can be done, I hope on the tour side and believe they're thinking about putting it at right time. Matches can't start after a certain time, Gorf said. I don't know if it's going to be a Grand Slam rule, but I know on the WTA tour, I think that's something to look at. Maybe if a match is going long, possibly moving courts, then I know it's tough because, especially here, it's only one night match, and people obviously paid for those tickets. It's a complicated thing, but I definitely think for the health and safety of the players, it would be in the sport's best interest I think to try to avoid those matches finishing or starting after a certain time. Obviously, you can't control when they finish. Thank you for watching to the end. If you have something to tell us about this video, leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.